You know what? I'm convinced, yo. I'm convinced. I got the best subscribers on YouTube. Hell yeah, I got the best subscribers on YouTube. I dare anybody to challenge me. Challenge my subscribers, they know what it is. Y'all see them back there? She talking and ready to go. How that boy Tay say it? She ain't perfect, but it'll do. <laughs> I like that fella, man. I, I really do like that fella, man. I follow him and uh, shout out to him and his family, man. And I hope that they continue to keep blessed, man. But I want to, damn. All right, get it together. Nah, I wanted to uh, stop by, you know what I mean? And give y'all some uh, insight on what happened the other day, man. So, Friday, y'all already know that uh, your boy got stuck in front of this bridge, right? And disclaimer, for anybody who, who watched this video and thought I could make that, do not think for one second that I just stopped in front of that bridge and called it quits. I tried, and you know what? I'm glad I did not make it. You know why? I'm 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 gonna save all that. I'm gonna save all that. I'm gonna save all that. I wanna give y'all the backstory first before I give y'all that. But I wanna give a big, big, big shout out, man, to this couple, man. I don't know their names, but they were the the family that lived in a house that I was stuck in front of. It was, it was the bridge, y'all, and then it was this a ditch, and then it was his house. And these people lived in this house, man. I had no signal. If you ride with T-Mobile, tell me, tell T-Mobile they need to see me, man. Tell, tell T-Mobile they need to see me, cause there ain't no way I should have not had no service. I couldn't even call my fleet manager to let them know exactly what was going on. This lovely young lady came out of her house to help me. She came out of the house, she gave me her phone, y'all, and me and my fleet man, that's how we had communication with each other. I couldn't just call anybody, I couldn't just uh, uh, reach out or do anything because the way my truck was sitting, if I would have backed up and swung my tractor, I hit the wall of the bridge or I hit the ditch. And if I just backed straight up, my trailer would curve and my trailer would fall in the ditch, thus pulling me into the ditch. So if you're in my comments saying that, hey, you could you could have made that or this is what you should have did. No, buddy, it wasn't happening. I'm gonna let you know how I got out of that situation, all right? So, what happened is the, her husband came out of the house and apparently he used to drive trucks and he was a really nice, nice guy, man. Really nice guy, man. They were both really nice people, man. I was really blessed to have them right there because Lord knows that I had my, I had my whole day wrecked. You know, I didn't know whether I was going or coming after that point, but they really helped me out a lot, man. They really did. Uh, she let me use her phone. He helped me back up a little bit, but if you drive, you know that off the right side of your truck, you can't see down by your wheels. You know what I mean? And I'm sitting so close to this ditch that I was, I was, I was honestly really afraid to make that turn, but he stood out there and he watched me. He helped me. He guided me a little bit and I got it to the point where I could back it. I could back the trailer up 
just enough. Now, if I would have, if I would have straightened out, I couldn't even have made it down that street. The street was so, so full of turns. I couldn't have made it down the street. And if I would have went forward, the couple told me that they were surprised I even got where I got, right? That's crazy. They were surprised I even got where I got. The guy asked me, I, he said, I, I don't even know how the hell you made it over here. I don't even know how the hell you made it this far, but you did it. Let me tell you, man, I, I said, Lord, be with me. I said, Lord, be with me. And I had that baby turning. And when I seen that bridge, I said, oh God, no, no. And I tried it, I tried it, but it wasn't happening. But they told me if I would've kept going, further down the streets get smaller it gets narrower narrower it's gonna be a word today it got narrow it got narrower right and there was another bridge that i was headed straight for that the one i was at was you know a straight line bridge i can go straight across it the other one was curved right He's, he was like yo i'm glad you stopped right here because if you'd have went a little further down, you would have really been out of out of out of uh, out of service or put down or had to call somebody because you weren't gonna make it across that bridge. So what happened was he allowed me, and I'm really thankful for these people, man. They they really did not have to do this for me, but he allowed me to pull into his yard. We had to move a couple things out of the way so the truck could make the turn, but he allowed me to turn my truck around in his yard, y'all. He allowed me to turn that damn thing around his yard. Now, I used to drive vans. Now I drive flatbed, right? And I know for a fact, you just can't, you're not making turns like you did in the dry van with a flatbed. The double, uh, uh, double axle or Whatever it is, y'all, I'm still learning. I'm still new, so don't fire me up in the comments. But, you know, it won't allow you to do what I did in those vans. So, he allowed me to, to tear his yard up, y'all. I told him, I said, man, that is crazy, man. I'm going I'm to a, I'm a really mess your yard up, bro. He said, man, don't worry about it, man. I, I'm not worried about that grass, man. So we did it. He allowed me to turn around in his yard. I almost got bogged down again because of the weight of the trailer and what was on the trailer, but we ended up working it out. Then, y'all, let me tell you how nice these people was, man. After I did that, then he got in his truck and he showed me what I was what I was running into. I wish I got the foot. I wish I had the footage of y'all, but I was so tore up with the day and the day had just started that yeah, I did not pull my phone out and I did not record it and I'm sorry but I ain't no way I ain't no way in hell I was making that y'all I'm glad I got stuck at that bridge because if not it was going down down and I mean down it was going down like jock I'm telling you it was not happening, but he took me through there. We seen that he showed me where my delivery was. Then he came out and he showed me exactly where I would be able to turn, right? Now, I will say this, driving a flatbed and driving a van are two completely different things, man. In, my, in a van right here like this, we go to warehouses. You know what I'm saying? We back up at warehouses, we bump a dock, we open our door, boom. We get it unloaded. And we hit the road and we keep going. Bad thing is, you're gonna have to wait a while because a lot of times they make you wait. So that's the bad part about it. But at the same time, you're not going to the areas that these flatbed guys are going to. And I think that I'm just a little, I was just a little too cautious maybe 
you know, at some of these roads and all this other stuff because I'm not used to it. But if I look at a road and I say, man, I don't think that I need to go down that road, guess what? We ain't going. We not going down the road. We gonna call fleet managers, I don't care who you is, and we gonna talk about it because I ain't the one to be putting myself in that situation. Granted, we already got in the situation already, but ain't no reason to just keep on doing that. You know what I'm saying? So, for all y'all that want to know exactly what happened, man, and you know, what, how I got out of the situation, we didn't have to call a record. We didn't have to call the police to escort me out or anything like that, man. And I thank God, I thank God because it was only my first week, y'all. It was only my first week and I was, I was feeling it, man. I was feeling it. That like day like that was a day where you questioned what the hell am I doing? It was definitely one of those days. But, you know, we made it, man. We made it out. And I'm so thankful for those people, man. I can't be thankful enough, man. God was on my side, man. He really was, you know? Uh, and a disclaimer, man, Maverick, this this is this is for you, Maverick. Do me a favor, man. Whatever you gotta do to update your GPS systems, do it. Because there is no way that we should have such a trash GPS system, right? I know it's new. You guys are working out some kinks and stuff, but that thing is trash, bro. Let's 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 call it ace a ace and a spade a spade, man. That that damn thing is trash, bro. Why do you call it trash, Mr. Oliver? Because if you do not make a turn the way that thing tells you, or you miss a turn, guess what happens? That GPS goes from being a regular GPS to not uh, well being a trucker's GPS to being a regular GPS, which is not good for me and you, right? Because it has sent us down the street that we are not supposed to be at, right? And I don't know if they even know that the GPS is that terrible or not, but it's trash, y'all. I'm telling you, it's, it's pure trash, y'all. It has, so, if you're coming to Maverick or if you are at Maverick right now and you are about to get in your truck, go get yourself a trucker's GPS. I don't care if it's a Ram McNally, a Garmin, or whatever the hell it is you got to buy, you need to get one, right? You need to get one, you need to set it up for your truck because this one that comes with your truck, just like me and most other people who just get a truck, you're not gonna have your GPS unless you bought it from your last truck. And if you're new to trucking, you definitely don't have one. All right, so go get yourself a, a, a GPS, man, because the one that they give you at, here at Maverick to start off with is trash, it's garbage, I'm telling you. It'll get you where you gotta go. But if you happen to miss an exit, it's over with, bro. It's it's over. You you might as well pull up in somebody backyard and stay the night because that's what's gonna happen. They're gonna send you down any street to get you back where it originally wanted you at. Okay. So I just wanted to touch bases with y'all, man. I like to say thank everybody, man. Thank you guys for everything, man. All the support, man. All the love. All the encouragement, man. Y'all been giving me, man. I'm. I'm blown away by it, bro, to be honest. I really am, man. I thank y'all so much, man. This is your boy, Mr. Oliver, and you know what it is. We are out of here.